Welcome to Aeronath's NAIDOC Week uh, special, and I'm here with Dennis Nicol. Dennis is a member of our board. Uh, Dennis, what is it that you find significant or interesting or amazing about NAIDOC Week? Okay, well for me, uh, NAIDOC Week is important for two reasons. Firstly, it gives us an opportunity to, uh, to recognise and properly value the First Nations people who have been uh, treated unjustly by European uh, moving into the country. That's the first thing. The second thing is, I think it's important for us, for people who live in Australia today, because the First Nations people uh, were able, have been able to develop a, a system of living, if you like, a way of living that incorporates um, their law system, their legality, their right way of acting, their morality, and their, their understanding of deeper things, their spirituality. And for me, that's an enormously valuable lesson they can teach us. So, so the way those three things interact, interact is what we can learn. Precisely. Okay. I think, I, I don't have a good understanding of what the dreaming is about, and I think dreaming is a, a European translation of a, of a First Nations idea that may be not entirely accurate. However, uh, the dreaming represents a, an incorporation of those three modalities, for want of a better word, into a total way of living that is based on the individual's um, place of birth. The land is really significant for the first, for the first nation. So, to me, it sounds like you're saying that there's a that that First Nations cultures are able to incorporate where you're from. How that place is created, yes. as well as how you should live, all into one sort of system of belief. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That, that hinges on the place where the person was born. That, that, that I think, I don't know whether my understanding is correct, but that's my understanding of, yeah. of how, how it works. Okay. Um, so, for, for us, for you, not European, for all of us living in Australia today, uh, we, we tend now, our culture tends to separate all those things. Yeah. Um, so law, legality is different from morality in lots of ways. Okay. Spirituality is a side thing for most people. Yeah. Um, so so we can, I don't think we follow necessarily, imitate what First Nations people did, but they give us an example of, of combining all of those um, ideas yeah. into, into one System. Okay, and that's what you find amazing about it. That's what I find amazing, yes. Yeah, wow. Yeah. It, it, for me, the, the incorporation of all those things together is a, is a marvellous sort of uh, example of, of um, how we might live properly. That's interesting. Mm. And, and you were saying you're from Yuan country, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is significant for me because um, I was brought up on a dairy farm in Yuan country on the far south coast. Um, now, my family came into possession of that land, and don't remember what I said before about the land being important. So, so my family came into possession of that 250 acres or so of land sometime in the middle of the 19th century. So, but, but there was a process that it went from Yuan country to Nickel country. I don't know what that process was. But, but I benefited enormously from that bit of land. So it provided me with a place and shelter and income from the father and ed education, all of that thing, enormously beneficial. Um, but my benefit derived from um, mm. a withdrawal of benefit from yeah. the UN A people. displacement? A displa dis precisely, yeah. that's the word, yes, a displacement. Yeah, I often think about that myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what the process was, but, but the first European surveys of that part of the world happened sometime in the 1830s. So it's very close. My, my family's uh, ownership of that land, possession of that land, is very close to human ownership. Um, and I feel myself, one of the ways that I, this is where Nadoc comes into it, I, I owe some debt of gratitude or repayment even to the human people. The land can't go back to them, that's, that's gone. But, but I can 
make a contribution by properly understanding and valuing the First Nations people. Yeah, okay, First, cool. Na First Nations culture. Cool, thanks, that's, Dennis. That's my yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good.